he's been unable to unite the party. That is true. That is true. Um, uh, yeah, of, of course I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm, I'm worried. I'm, I'm anxious. But my disappointment is not directed at any one individual. It's directed at the situation and all those that are responsible for the situation. And it takes two to tango. And it takes several to, to, to make a quarrel, a quarrel as, as, as sharp and as vicious as this one that we're witnessing is. So I say a plague on all their houses. It's, it's, and again, one has to understand that they're, they're, they're I always I remember I used to like to say the course of politics, like the course of true, true love, never did run smooth. You are never have complete unity. There will always be uh, dissension, but Christ, man, it is at a level now that is absolutely intolerable. Is the opposition weak? Yes, of course it is weak. If you're divided, you're almost weak. And how do you think that affects democracy if we don't have a of strong course, opposition? Of course. I, I, I said to somebody, my heart grieves for my son, for my party, but most of all for my country. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily that, that the UDP for be the government, you know, but it is that you must have a strong two-party system. You must, no matter who that the government, have a strong opposition. You get wiped out, you only win five seats, fine, but you pick yourself back up and you start going at it and plugging away and you raise hell and you make sure you don't miss one beat and you don't get the government one break. That is what uh, democracy is about. What is happening now, in my view, is that the UDP is being crippled by the disunity and basically by our democracy is hanging by a thread.